Hi everyone, welcome, John here, and in today's video we're going to be talking about Python dictionaries, what they are and how to use them. For those of you with some programming experience already, a dictionary is basically the same as an array. It's a way of storing information within your program. Um, they are the, one of the more widely used and useful data types in Python alongside lists. Uh, whilst a list is just that, a list of items stored and indexed by a number, uh, remember that Python is a zero index language so the first item is always a zero, dictionaries use keys and values to store their data. Each key has a value assigned to it and must be unique. Uh, assigning a new key the same name will overwrite the old one and the value will be lost. A key can be any immutable data type. Um, and immutable means that it cannot be changed once it's created. So things like strings and numbers can always be keys, whereas lists cannot. Um, we can add and remove items from a list, which means it is a mutable object uh, and therefore cannot, cannot be a key. Um, however, it can and will very, it can be a value and we will find that quite often. So how do we create a dictionary uh, and how, how do we get on and get, get working with them in Python? Well, let's, let's get into that right now. Okay, to create our first dictionary, we are going to give it a name and we're going to call ours product. And to start the dictionary, we always use the curly braces like this. And the key comes first in the quote marks. And the first key I'm going to use is item ID. Now to give this key a value, we use a colon and then the value. In this case, it's an integer, so I'm going to give it one, two, three, four. And to move on to the next key, we use a comma and then the same thing again. The next one is going to be name, colon, and then more quote marks for the value because this one is a string and we're calling it t-shirt. We'll add one more key and we'll call that color. Again, and the value here is white. So this is a very, very short dictionary and it's all on one line. Quite often they're separated on different lines and we'll get into that a bit later. So if we wanted to access the one of the keys in our dictionary, we can call that quite simply, let's print it out and we will call our dictionary, which is called product which is what we've got here. And then in the square brackets and the quote marks, we call the key. So if we use item ID, save that and run that, we should get one, two, three, four as our output, which we do down here. So if we wanted to call another key, we can do exactly the same thing. Let's just call name really quick and see what we get. And it should be our t-shirt, there we go. So to add a key and a value to a dictionary, we do this, we give our dictionary name, product, and then we type in our new key, which we're gonna call size, and then we're gonna add equals for the value, and we're gonna go small. So what this is gonna do is this is gonna take our dictionary here, as you can see, product dict, and we're gonna add a new key, and we're gonna add this value here to it. So if we print out the whole of our dictionary now, like that, we should get, and I'll remove this print statement just real quick. We should get, we've added the size key and the small value to our dictionary. If we wanted to remove a key, we use DEL for delete. And then we call our dictionary product and we select the key that we want to delete, just like that. So if we put a print statement in the middle, we'll see that at this point, the key is added, and at this point, the key has been deleted. See, there we go. We added it in, and then we've removed it. So if we remember earlier that we said that lists couldn't be keys, but they could be values. So let's add a list as a value to our dictionary. So the way we would do that is the same way we did before. We would call product, which is our dictionary name, square brackets to add a new key and we're going to go size again and we're going to make that equal to a list so our first size is going to be small our second size will be medium and our third size will be large and if i type that correctly and save there we go and now if we print out our dictionary again and i will comment out these ones real quick so we only get the ones that we're looking at if we print that out, we'll see here we have the key of size and the value is a list, small, medium and large. If we wanted to only access part of that dictionary and say we wanted to get out what size 
uh, are available for this product we can do that simply by typing in product and then calling size and that will return our list for us here so now that we've got a list back we know that we can use the indexing to call out the specific values of that list I've done a video on uh, bits about indexing and slicing before so have a look at that if you're not quite up to speed with it or you want to find out a little bit more but basically to call the first item in this list we can call zero and that will print out just the first item as is small and same with one and two if we print out two we'll get the third item in the list and that's large there it's important to try and always keep track of where you are in the dictionary uh, as they will get a lot bigger longer and more complicated than this um, so if you wanted to pull out different parts of the information where you're looking just remember to make sure that you go through it thoroughly and find the key or if it's a list find the index otherwise you'll run into key values and errors and you won't get anywhere so let's work with a slightly uh, larger dictionary now I've got one here if we just take this out and put this in our file so what I've done here is I have created a bit smaller a dictionary a list of dictionaries things like this are quite uh, common especially when you get into getting data back from APIs um, the data comes back as a JSON format and when we use json.loads into Python it gives us a dictionary so here we can see I've got a list because the first bracket is a square bracket in that list I have three dictionaries and within each of those dictionaries there is a list it can sound quite complicated but it's actually really easy to use and get around here so if we look at the print example that I've got here I've got print products which is now the name of our list here and I've got zero which is for the first item in the list which is this dictionary and then I've got print products zero again which is the first item and name now this is how we would get out the very first item of the list call the key of an item ID and then call the key of name so if we run this we should get 101 and t-shirt which is right here if we wanted to get out the first size we would do products to get this list we would call then the very first item of the list which is the zero index then we would call the key because that's the next thing that comes along here and then we will call the index of the first item of the list again so this should get us that out there we go so we've just dissected this list of dictionaries and we've pulled out the item ID the name and the size this is particularly useful uh, for extracting the information from any JSON data that you have um, make sure you just follow it through see where you're at check the keys and check any lists and pull the information out like that so I hope for the, this video has been helpful to you in some way. If it has, let me know. If it hasn't, let me know. If you want to find out anything else, uh, give me a shout in the comments and hopefully I'll be able to help you. Cheers, guys. Bye.